Right, well folks, that's me on the way to Northern Ireland Bikers and Trikers Club meeting in the park in Scarva. It's a club that spawned out of the Northern Ireland and Bikers Riding for Charity group. Um, it was sort of created to get an affiliation with the BMF, so it's a, an affiliated club. Um, so, a few, few great guys on it. And, um, I say it'll be good to catch up with them. They say that they all seem to be half decent blokes. And, uh, well, I'm sure there's ladies there as well, but uh, the guys that I know are, are mostly blokes. But uh, that's where I'm heading for. Um, nice summer's evening. Um, and hopefully I've got over my woes with the camera. I have this great knack of either not switching off the voice, switching on the voice recorder, or not switching on the camera. And <laughs> it gets a tad annoying. Um, so what I did do to make things make up for it was um, switch them both on before jumping the bike, and made sure both were running. So there's bound to be something else happens, but <laughs> so far so good. Just thinking uh, about the guy that got killed today. This is what Monday, the nineteenth of August. Uh, boy from Ballymena got killed on his bike. A uh, young fella, I think thirty odd. Um, just you know, thoughts go out to the family. Yeah, we all accept the risk, and you know. It's a, it's a, Well accepted and get on with it and enjoy it, but it does come with dangers. You know, I suppose if it wasn't for the dangers, half the enjoyment wouldn't be there. So that's it. So it makes it so exciting, gives us a more more of fun. But uh, I'll say you try your best to avoid it. I have to say, lots of farm machinery about these days. Um, I don't know what the size of things it was a uh, collision with a tractor. Um, easy done. Right. So, the missus is threatening to buy me a uh, contour. Uh, HD now, not, not the one with the external mic, I'm just going to run with the, the little uh, voice recorder with it, but uh, it just sits nice nice in the helmet and has a laser line and that, um, it does seem like a good good machine, so, uh, so that's, hopefully that will work out and I'll have it by the end of September, at least it's waterproof by that stage, I'll probably be getting caught in the rain, um, and it'll not steam up, <laughs> hopefully. I would say that uh, if you've been into cameras as long as I have, um, all the cameras these days just absolutely amaze. The, the one that I have that I'm using at the moment, a um, £30 Rolly uh, Bullet HD, Rolly Bullet Young Star HD, and I say it comes in a little waterproof case uh, and has. It runs at 720D, 720p HD, so really it's, it's, it's some piece of kit for the money. I was out uh, yesterday on the Key Vipers run, uh, the Craig Fergus, um, the Ramble Sanctuary one. Ah, that's a good day out. <laughs> Powerful slow, I, th I, th I think. Um, Next time I'll go, the, 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 if I can manage to make it the next time, you'll work in the shifts. Uh, if I manage to make it the next time, I think I'll go on the scooter. Um, makes much more sense. Most of the time you're 40, 30, 40, 50 miles an hour. Uh, and the scooter does that with like fun. With a big bike, it's, you're just trundling along. I 
could have gone to Scarve up towards Bat Bridge, that was to my left there. But uh, I sort of like this bit of road. That is quite nice. I have sympathy for cyclists, but if you can stay in just a wee hair, that's you. That's a boy. Preload on the, the rear shop there. Um, a couple of days ago. That ah, feels good, man. I have to say, but not push it. I can use it, but it does. It seems good. And uh, the new Conti tires, as I said, I mentioned it before. Um, full set for 155 quid. Can't, can't be bad with that. Thanks for a cheap set of tires. So we're at about 3,000 out of a set of tires, both front and rear. Um, front wore out exactly the same as the, well, the same time as the, the rear. Rear scrubbed off more in the centre, well, it was pretty worn all over. Uh, where well, the front was mostly on the sides, uh, got down past the sore indicator on the sides, but the, the centre had plenty. Um, so, well, well, it was in getting the rear, as I thought, you know, it's only going to be a matter of a good week or two before we need the, the front, so it was done. That horse's head sticking out. <laughs> Didn't see it that last minute. Almost started me. So when I was leaving the house there, um, <laughs> I had to turn and go back. I forgot my clear visor because it'll be dark when I'm heading home. I always wear a black visor. Um, daylight, just like them. I know the law says you shouldn't have, but you can look at the, the, the flip side of that. If you carry your spare visor, what's the problem? Um, the, the other option is um, wearing like a cheap pair of sunglasses underneath your helmet. So say you go into a tunnel, it's the hardest thing to get to there and pull the sunglasses out of the road. Okay, if you go into a tunnel with your visor, dead easy to flip up. Uh, okay, you, you're not doing it for too long until you drop your speed or whatever. But to me, it's a safer option. And when you have your um, your clear visor on board, when it, if it was to get dark when you're out, you're, you have your option. You just change the visor. And now, modern helmets with all the quick release visors, that's it's no chore to do. So th that's my, my bit of a rant at the moment. Um, dark visors should never have been banned. Um, okay, the law should, should state you carry your spare one, a uh, spare clear one if you're going to use one. But, um, no, that's uh, one that's not a great idea that, that, that you, you, you have people wearing shitty sunglasses under their helmet come into somewhere dark and I just can't see. It's just nonsense. Just heading out through Guildford. Um, if you see just on the left hand side there, that's the, the place where the tires came from. Uh, good bunch of guys. Um, they've been good to me over the time. Uh, I went in my car to say, oh, 
that needs tires. And I says, well, we can do them if you want, but they're not illegal. You know, give it a couple of months and come back to me. Um, so they saved me a few quid, and within a couple of months I got rid of the car, so they definitely did save me a few quid. Um, I'll say I get all my bike tires there. Um, It says the car that they put into the bike that does it. Whoa! That's the second time I've come through there and the bike slid. What it is, there must be something in the middle of that road, so next time I'm going to take a wider line. Fabulous road, this is the one between Tanner Bay and Uri. Absolutely fabulous. Corner after corner, great surface. Um, although you could be carrying more speed than you would imagine, but there's one fun with the road. This week there's uh, adverts about uh, speed traps everywhere. Well, say I'm sitting there around the speed limit, so no issue. So when you get a twisty road, you can stick to the speed limit all right, you know, and still have fun. Big bike's nice, too, too easy to carry, lots of speed. twisty enough that you can enjoy it and uh, not carry big speed. There's lots of roads there with national speed limit and uh, you'll find that you can have as much fun on at the speed limit. That's wise words. In <laughs> good old Northern Ireland, any Egypt can ride with flat out in a straight line. It's just a matter of twist and throttle. But to get them around the corner, that's the, the difficult bit. You know, so that, that would be the difficult bit, so uh, I'll say it doesn't take much to open the, the throttle. Right, that's me in Scarva. Now, what I'm looking for now is the park in. Right, must be down to the left. Jesus! <laughs> there it is there. Would you believe? Okay, is there a car parked here?